what's going on everybody blue raven here and i'm with you today to give you guys a video um it's way overdue uh but it's a lord of the fallen cheese video um it's uber cheese uber cheese in this video why am i doing lords of the fallen well the the sequel they announced and i'm super stoked for it and this is a very underrated game in my opinion as far as a souls born a souls light game this one is one of the most underrated. I think it's because it was the first one to come out that was like a direct ripoff of, of Dark Souls, and so a lot of people hated on it because of that. But now it's like a, it's a badge of honor if you make a game that's very similar to Dark Souls um, or Bloodborne or Demon Souls. Uh, so I, I think you go back to this game now with the understanding that it is a Souls like game, and graphically it's great. It, lo it looks great on my PS5. Um, and it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. So I wanted to do this video and show you guys, um, well, how to how to just get really OP. There's two ways you can do it. I'm going to show you uh, an early strat, and then we're going to switch over and show you a late strat, a little bit later strat. So as you can see, I have uh, three characters. I have a rogue at 74. He's not that far in the game, by the way. Warrior that's only play I hadn't played very long he's already 131 and I have a, a cleric that's already in new game plus it's 207 we're gonna start a new character and I'm gonna show you how to do an early um, we're gonna do a rogue um, faith build so he's gonna be he's gonna be called Executioner? No, wait. Do I want to do... Do I want to do... Magic with the rogue? And then get you get the ranger? Do I want to do... Uh, I really like the cleric, man. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with that and the cleric because I just really, there's so many good weapons for the cleric that are so much fun. Faith is so broken in this game. If you actually spend the time to put points into your uh, faith, it is just stupid. You get some of the best weapons. Like, so the barbarian has the best, or not the bar, but the, the warrior has the best weapons just because he's a, he's got the, he's got the big boy swords and stuff like that. Right, so you think they're the best. They're not though. Faith, if you put enough in the faith, and and same with agility with the with the with the uh, rogues. Now all three characters can be really OP, but I think the funnest weapons are the staffs and stuff like that that you can get with the cleric. The hammers are pretty cool, but the staffs are where it's really at. I mean, some of them can do some stupid damage. All right, we got to kill this guy. You have to, so in order to do the initial one, we got to kill this guy. Ready? Let's go. There we go. You want to kill this guy initially. You're not going to kill him again. You're just going to kill him the initial time. This is this is to get you a buttload of... Um, a buttload of uh, healing potions. Um, we should put that on. We should have had that on to begin with. Oh, yeah. Alright, so next thing you want to do is take off all your armor. Take it all off. We don't want it. Including your shield. You don't want that. Two-handed weapon. Let's go. Open this up. You want to run over here? Run over here. Ah! It's okay if you get hit. Right now, it's okay if you get hit. You don't want to die quite yet, but because you need to get down here. By the way, there's a fire resistance shard. That's right over here. Right there. You can get a, butt, a buttload too if you want. So you want to break this. Roll in here. Open this up, okay? Leave it alone. Don't get it. Now die. Now you want to die. Get these guys to kill you. This is re another reason I picked a, 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 uh, the cleric. Because they die. I have less health than a warrior. And a, if I would have went with a, a rogue, I'd have even less health. It gets easier when the other guy that we just killed, the the uh, the Marauder, when the Marauders aren't dead, because these guys these guys are based on sounds. So you actually have to make noise for them to kill you. Anyways, you die. The whole reason you kill that guy is for.
for spawn purposes. If you leave him alive and you just run and go to the chest, it's going to keep spawning you down behind him and want you to do it. If you spawn up here, it's easier. You can come up here. If you stand here, he'll start walking forward, right? And then you want to just roll, roll, run. And you can roll, run down here, grab that. I don't care about that. Come in here. And now if I pick up this, my empty bottle, see how there's still one there? Leave that one alone. Just pick up one and go and leave. Run back up here. Again, and now we're dying again. Get out of my way! You want the Marauder. He does the most damage here. So he's going to be right there. He's going to hit you the hardest. And he's not based on uh, motion or, or sound, so... He can kill you really fast. So you could do this eight times. You can go to that chest and loot that chest eight times. You get eight bottles. Okay? And you're going, well, blue, then what's the point of... How is that a glitch? I mean, that's cool. You can get it eight times. Watch. We're going to have to kill the first boss after that. Watch. Hopefully I can do all this in, in one recording. I might have to do two recordings. We'll see. Uh, so my capture card is currently not working. So I'm using my PS5's capture card to do this recording and using share factory and whatnot to do the editing so we'll see how it goes so there's no jump cuts or anything this is all done on a uh, very see see i'm doing that uh but this is all done on one take essentially excuse me and again sir there he is and see those guys will knock you over a lot there. There we go. And you'll know how many you're getting bottles, empty bottles again, because every time you die, it's going to fill that empty bottle. So you notice I went, I had four, and I, have, I should have six now. I started with four, now I have six. So I can get to 12 before I have to go fight the boss. And that's cool, we can do that. The boss is super easy. I'm even going to show you how to do the no hit, uh, uh, no get his special weapon because you're going to want it to start out the game his his weapon is beast early game there he is man he ran all the way down here hey boom see how much life he takes on one just one hit now later on there's going to be a time where you're going to we're going to be farming uh, another thing and you're not going to want you're not going to want him to hit you because he doesn't do enough damage. You're going to want the rogue to hit, or the rain, the Rogar rogues to hit you. They do a lot of damage if you just let them. Let's see, let's see. Oh. You just want him moving. You don't necessarily want him past you. You just want him moving. Does that make sense? Ow! Now, the eighth one's going to be tricky to pick up, and I'll show you how to pick that up. The eighth one is always a little trickier to pick up. That's okay. Don't worry. I got you guys covered. So, I don't know if in the YouTube video you're going to see the recording timer above it, but hopefully I can edit that off of it. Because right now it's showing me like I'm at nine minutes. And yeah, I, I can record up to an hour. So... I'm trying to do this as quick as I can. I might have to do two different recordings for the health and then for the attribute ones. That's what I'll probably do. So, infinite health potions is what I'll call this one. And then I'll do another video for infinite uh, attribute points. Again, getting hit is okay. You can get hit. You can take damage getting here. You just got to make sure you get here. Because the more you get hit, the less when you come back up here, you actually need to take from these guys. Stop knocking me over. There we go.
so if you don't know, if this is your first Lords of the Fallen video that you're coming across, um, th this game is, is very much a Souls copy. Um, they took some other ideas and ran with them. Like, uh, like the way you get XP in this game is a little bit different than Souls. Uh, I like the idea. The execution is probably not the best. But graphically, as far as like armor and weapons and stuff, this game, I would put this game on par with Dark Souls 3 as far as the graphics. I love the way this game looks aesthetically. Uh, the gameplay is probably more of a Dark Souls 2 style gameplay. But aesthetics wise, it's right there with 3. It's really, really well done. Um, so I'm very excited for the next one. But when we get done getting our our empty bottles we're going to, have to fight a boss the the the, tor the tutorial boss for this game um and each boss in lords of the fallen has a challenge um a very specific challenge the first boss is if you can if you can kill him without him hitting you once so you take zero damage from him um you can uh you get an orange version of his sword you'll always get his sword if you beat him but you won't. Uh, you can get the orange version, which has a special perk on it, right? So that was that was seven that we just picked up. Um, and the next one will be the twelfth one, and we'll be we'll be ready to go. So, anyways, um, out of all the challenges, of all the boss challenges, the tutorial boss, being the tutorial boss, if you know what you're doing, he is the easiest challenge to complete. Very easy. We're going to be doing it here in just a second. We're going to pick up our last bottle, and you'll know it's your last bottle too, because you'll go up to the chest, and it won't prompt you to hit triangle to, to grab the loot. You'll know you're on eight, if you lose track of your count of how many you're do you've done so far. So we're on 11, this will be 12 right here. And based on how much damage you take, I might die and refresh, but we'll see. I think we're okay. So if you come up to it, see how I can't pick it up? What you need to do is you need to come over to the side to pick it up. I don't know why, but your last one, you have to go to the side to pick it up. Now, we can put our armor back on. Let's go. I'm not worried about really killing anything, because for time purposes, we're just... This is just, a t this is just a, I'm showing you what to do. I'm just kind of showing you. So you come down here, grab your key. You need the key to get in there. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Go ahead and grab that. We can come down here. We can talk to... Dude. Dude. Dude, there we go. Uh, support me. He'll fill you up all your light, all your health potions. He'll fill them all up. Go ahead and go in here. We'll do this cutscene, and then I'm gonna. Sh so, what happens at eight is even if I died, I couldn't go back and loot that chest anymore. It won't let you after eight. You have to reset the chest, and the way to reset is you have to leave the area. You have to completely leave the area and come back, and I'll show you how to do that. The intros for all the bosses is so cool too. Like they just, the bosses, every boss is really epic in this game, and it, like gives you that epic feeling. Even the tutorial boss that you'll fight a thousand times in this game because he becomes a normal enemy later in the game. His sword is really good. It'll carry you through a good chunk of the game. So, lock onto him and back up. That's all you have to do. Just lock on, back up. You want him to run at you. So you're wanting him to he'll he'll kind of bend his shoulder down and run at you, like that. Then start moving to the right. Keep moving to the right. Now you want him to do a sword slam. That. Now run. Hit him. Back up. That's all you gotta do, just back up. See, he's gonna do it again. Move to the right. Wait for the sword slam. There you go, run. 
I could have hit him one more and just got him to proc his his next phase, which he just knocks his armor off. That's okay. Charge. Start start strafing to the right. Run and hit him. That little proc his armor. Not that does the him hitting you with his armor does not count as damage. So you're okay. You can get hit by that and you'll be just fine. There we go. Strafe to the right. Sword, run. Hit. One, two. Back away. There you go. Let him run at you. Strafe to the right. Run. Hit. One, two. Next phase. The next phase, you can actually go. You can go one, two, and then one, two, three, because he's. You're gonna knock his shield away from him after this. Back up. Try to kite that. There you go. To the right. Strafe to the right. Run. One, two. Roll away just to be on the safe side. There he goes. He's already... Right, right, right. There you go. Run. There he goes. There's, there's a shield. Now he's going to start doing the spinning attack. It's no different than his run. Just keep backing up and strafing to the right. Okay? So back up. Strafe to the right. He's done. Strafe to the right. So he'll do the slam. Nope, that's not the slam. So we're gonna, he's going to have to do his spin again. Oh, nope, nope, there it is. One, two. There we go. Here goes his spin. There we go. Just keep backing up. He's going to give you the opening every time. There it goes. Run. And he's dead. No hit. Hey, he's that easy. You just have to wait till he does that slam. That's his opening every time. Now I'm going to show you how to reset the, the case so you can get as many empty bottles as you want, as your heart desires, okay? As many as you want. Ah! And then I'm going to show you on the next video how to get as many attribute shards, so I mean, as many levels as you want. It's all about how long you want to spend grinding. This is all about the grind to get these. One of those lords, keeps talking. And as you'll see, you'll see I got the Persistence Greatsword. So you look over here. And it's going to be down here because I don't have the strength to wield it. But you see how the, the, the name is orange? If you got hit, the name would be white. It would The, the name of, of the Greatsword, where it says Greatsword, it would just be white. So you wouldn't get the special perk that it comes with. But anyways. Um, because I don't care about XP... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to go ahead and just save it here. So we said it. I'm not going to show you all this stuff. If you guys want me to do a walkthrough of this game, I will. But right now, I'm just showing you guys kind of some cheese stuff. So you see that statue. We're going to jump to that statue. You ready? Here we go. There we go. And there was a key. There's a key right here you can pick up, by the way. But you're just going out the store. Okay, so you want to, remember I said you, to reset that chest, we needed to leave the area. We just left the area, okay? Getting this loading screen, going through the door, we left the area. So there's two things you have to do, okay? One, take your armor back off. Because, <laughs> again, you want you, the whole idea is you're going to be dying. Armor is going to make your death take longer. So you run over to this. You need to save it again. So run over to this save stone. Save it, okay? Once you see that orange ring... Go ahead and leave the game. So we leave the game. So you save it, exit out of the game. That's going to reset everything. Okay? So that chest now only has one empty bottle in it. Not two, like you normally had. Um, it has one. Why does it say the executioner? That's weird. It shouldn't say actually. It should say Keystone. Oh, 
Okay. Either way, that's fine. So now, if you want to go back in, you need to get back to where the boss was. That saves that big save crystal that where the boss was. We need to get back up there. Because you want to, you want to say, you want to hit the save spot there. Just so when you die, you're not doing this run every time. That's the whole only. That's the only reason we're doing that. So it's pretty easy. Just run past this guy. You're just running upstairs. Is all you're doing. This guy may hit you. It, sometimes he will. Sometimes he won't. It doesn't matter. You're gonna hit this crystal. Right now, the next thing you need to do is die. You have to die. Because, like I said, that chest only has one bottle in it. And you need to have you need it to glitch to where it has two. So, let him kill you. Alright, there we go. So now, when we revive, we're going to be at the crystal in the boss room. And now, it's just rinse and repeat of what I was doing the first eight times. I'm not going to do eight. I'm going to do one to show you that it works. And then I'm going to end the video and sh upload that to YouTube and send out my next video of the attribute points. Attribute points, by the way, are your character. So, like, you have spell points. That's all this, right? And then you have uh, attribute points. Strength, vitality, faith, endurance, agility, luck. Luck is bullshit. Don't use it. You don't need it. Uh, you can get XP. And spend XP into these, okay, at, at one of the shrines, or you can get these shards, which will give you one level. It, all you do is consume it, it gives you one level really quickly. I'm going to show you how to get a ass ton of those. See, I don't even care about the thousand. So, again, let him walk forward, right? And we go. There we go. I don't care. And you know if it works, if you just run past this one and pick it up, and that's still there. So we got the fire resistance shard, and the fire resistance shard's still there. See? We just got... It, it, it popped away really quickly, but... We got we got it, and I'll prove it to you here. Thank you. Because when we die, we'll go up to 13. I would say you probably don't need more than 30 to beat the game, honestly. Go as many as you want, though. I have 50 on one character. So, it, I would say 30, and you're going to be just fine. 50, you're probably never going to want to rest. I actually, going through on one of my characters, because I had 50, I went through three whole areas of the game, and then I died by accident, and I had over 50,000 experience. Because I was at the times two multiplier. So, let's show you. So we got one. See, we're at thirteen. Let him move. Go and roll, roll. I haven't had that guy hit me so, so much in, the, in these runs. It's usually those guys that hit me. Yeah, these guys usually grab me. Fire resistance shards, which I just get. And look, empty bottle. That's it, guys. That's all you have to do. And then after eight, you would go back out to that. You'd go back out that door, jump up, jump down the statue, go through the door, save it, leave the game, come back in, rinse and repeat. Do this as many times as you guys want. I'm going to show you because we're going to quit the game. So this, that last one I picked up is not going to count. It didn't save it. So the last one is not going to show up. What I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you my current character that I'm playing with. Um which is my warrior, and he's in Keystone, and he's going to be the one in the next video I'm going to show you how to get stupid amount of uh, attribute shards really, really fast, like stupid fast. Uh, but I, I don't want this video to go too long, so I'm just going to show you how many when I farmed him. I farmed him for like a, like for like for maybe like two hours, and you see I have 53. Look at my dude. He is a beast. And all I've beaten, I've only beaten, I've beaten four bosses. So I beat the tutorial boss, I beat the second boss, which is called the commander, I beat the boss that was in the catacombs, and then I beat the boss in the graveyard here, the worship, or boss. So I've only beat those four bosses. Um, 
But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, I love you guys. I hope everybody has a great day. I will talk to you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye.